Good morning, it's Andy with Mountain Computers. Today is April 24th or something like that. Anyhow, I've got a couple more videos that I've shot in the past couple weeks. I haven't posted them yet because one of them is pretty long. It's about Amazon, AWS, Azure stuff. It's a little whiteboard exercise. That's It's a little long. Um, this one here, I'm just going to... And then I did another one. What was that on? Well, that was on an HP uh, laptop. Uh, Windows... Uh, 7 to 10 upgrade on an HP DV7. That was pretty good. But today, um, another laptop here, and uh, I've been doing a lot of programming. I was up in the Google Cloud uh, platform past week doing some in place upgrades of, R, of 2012 Server R2 to uh, 2019. And uh, Amazon EC2 is pretty good, it's pretty fast, but Google Platform is really fast. And you know what, I've never, it was in 2018 I started looking at the Google platform, the GCP platform, and I didn't quite understand it, being project based, and now I like it. I really like it because when it comes to uh, removing your uh, project resources and stuff like that, you just dump the project and all the resources behind it just fall away. Now on Amazon, if you delete certain resources, the linkage between some of those resources will not go away. Some of the ENI. Um, Resources, some of the uh, uh, volumes, some of the uh, other resources, they stay hanging out there. And some of them you can't even um, remove successfully, y even if you ask support to do it. If you're on a paid plan, they'll do it for you. If you're a free plan like me, I'm a developer. Um, in, one of this in one of these accounts, I'm in developer mode. So they're like, uh, it's, it's on your own. So I said, fine. If, if you can't help me, I'll just dump my accounts and create a new one. Just create a new alias on your email domain. And... Uh, dump the old one, just delete the old account and all those resources will go away. Um, so anyhow, this is a Google Chromebook. Um, I'm going to show you this one error message that we're getting and then show you the back of this thing. And uh, so anyhow, I've already taken this thing apart. It was a little tricky, but if I turn this thing on, you can see what's happening here. Um, I think it's going to show you. Let's give it a second here. Yeah. There we go. That'd be cool. Yeah, see, system is applying a critical update. It keeps doing that. System is applying a critical update. See that right there? I think you can see that. system is applying critical update. So moral of the story, let me pull the power on this thing. Um, I googled it. All these people were telling me, this, and this here is the uh, back of the board. Now this power connector here, this little piece right here, this little piece right here, you can see right here, that connects the main power, okay? That slides, let me move this out of the way, that actually slides back and forth here, okay? So don't get confused about trying to pry this thing off because it just slides out of place. There's a little clip right there. You just pull that right there. It unlocks it, locks it, unlocks it. Okay. So anyhow, moral of the story is that's how you disconnect the power connector that goes right there. So anyhow, moral of the story is this Asus, um, the back for this thing, um, <laughs> you can pull all the screws and when you go to pull the plate off there is actually one extra screw underneath this pad over here okay so when you're looking at this thing all these screws will pull off except there is one left underneath this foot pad here rubber pad just pop that because when you go to pull this thing off it won't come off you're like what the heck what's holding this up um, it's just that there's an extra screw underneath. They're all the same screws, so don't worry about getting it mixed up. Um, what else? I think that's about it. So I read all the posts about this uh, Google Chromebook, what you can do to uh, fix it, ASUS, and uh, not much you can do. It's sort of screwed. Um, yeah, I don't know why. But whatever. Story of my life. They said motherboard. Some people said, you know, power cycle that thing 32 times. Alt, shift. Control R doesn't work either. So, it sucks. Basically, 
Yeah, it's a dead Google Chromebook. Got another one over here too that's dead. And that one truly is dead. That's a logic board problem. But this is Andy from Mountain Computers, the Go Green PC Tune, okay? Be sure to like, subscribe, and share. Um, I haven't posted a video in about a month. It's okay. Um, just so much cloud work right now. So much, uh, not a lot of uh, PC builds. We haven't done any PC builds in a month. Um, did some upgrades, some really good upgrades for SSD drives and some RAM. And uh, that was good. But other than that, though, it's been pretty slow. Not too worried. Got to take a vacation, a break sometimes. Went down to Sacramento for a week. That was fun. Family stuff, but other than that, though. Be sure to, um, if you have any questions or comments, be sure to post those below. And uh, we'll, be, we'll be back shortly, okay? Thanks, bye-bye.